Hi, welcome to the brand new section, Chart Them Up. In this section, we'll start off with creating a line chart and an area chart. Then, we'll move on to creating a scatter plot chart and bubble chart. Lastly, we'll see creating a bar chart. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating a line chart. In this video, we're going to take a look at implementation of a basic line chart using D3 as reusable JavaScript object. Line chart is a common and basic chart type that is widely used in many fields. This chart consists of a series of data points connected by straight line segments. A line chart is also typically bordered by two perpendicular axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. We will take a look at how basic chart can be implemented using D3 as a reusable JavaScript object that can be configured to display multiple data series on a different scale. I will also show the technique of implementing a dynamic multi-data series update with animation. First of all, open local copy of this file in your favorite text editor. Let's take a look at the code that generates line chart. This code generates line chart in the browser. And this can be updated by pressing the update button. First, take a look at how this chart object is created and how its associated attributes can be retrieved and set on this code. As you can see, the chart object is defined using a function called line chart as shown on line 1a, following the functional object pattern. Leveraging the greater flexibility with information hiding offered by the functional object pattern, we have defined a series of internal attributes, all named starting with an underscore as shown on line 1b. Some of these attributes are made public by offering an accessor function. These are the publicly accessible attributes. Width, chart SVG total width in pixels. Height, chart SVG total height in pixels. Margins, chart margins. Colors, chart ordinal color scale used to differentiate different data series. X, X axis scale. Y, Y axis scale. Both line chart function and its successors return a chart instance, thus allowing function chaining. Finally, the chart objects also offers an add series function, which simply pushes a data array into its internal data storage array, underscore data. The next aspect of this reusable chart implementation is the chart body SVG G element rendering and its clip path generation. The render function given on line 2a is responsible for creating the SVG SYG element and setting its width and height as done on line 2b. After that, it creates an SVG clip path element that covers the entire chart body area. The SVG clip path element is used to restrict the region where paint can be applied. This link gives more information on clipping and masking. This code generates this SVG element structure that defines the chart body on line 2E. The render body function, as shown on line 2D, generates the SVG G element which wraps all the chart body content with a translation set according to the chart margin convention. Axes are rendered in the render access function. Both the X and Y axis are rendered inside the chart margin area. Take a look at the code fragments that are responsible for data series rendering, that is, function render line. The D3 line generator is created on line 4A to create SVG path that maps the data series. The enter and update pattern is used to create the data line as shown on line 4b. Line 4c sets a different color for each data line based on its index. Lastly, line 4e sets the transition in the update mode to move the data line smoothly on each update. The render dots function performs a similar rendering logic that generates a set of SVG circle elements representing each data point on line 4e, coordinating its color based on the data series index on line 4f and finally also initiates a transition on line 4G so the dots can move with the line whenever the data is updated. Creating a reusable chart component involves actually quite a bit of work. However, more than two-thirds of the code is required to create peripheral graphical elements and accessor methods. Therefore, in a real-world project, we can extract this logic and reuse a large part of this implementation for other charts.